This might be one of those rare Black Clover titles where I know exactly what it means. Mr. Delinquent, aka Magna, versus Muscle Brains, aka Asta. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover episode 79. Like I said, Mr. Delinquent versus Muscle Brains. Last episode with Peasant Trap, we were able to get Kirsch out of the game. So now it should be a 3v2. Hopefully we have the advantage. Hopefully Asta does proceed to the next stage. Even though I very much like uh, Kur uh, not Kirsch, Soul and Magna. I hope, you know, they're good people. I hope everything works out with them, especially Magna. But, you know, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do to get to the top. And I know he's not gonna feel bad about it because he's always supporting Asta. He's always been a, a good senpai, as one may say. But without any further ado, I say we hop into this because I am just so excited to find out what happens next. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links will be in the description for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, you guys can just leave me a like and a nice comment. It really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then follow on the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. So if you want early access and all that stuff, um, links for everything in the description down below. Like always, let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 79, Mr. Delinquent versus Muscle Brains. Let's do this. That's smart. Okay. Okay, magic controlling seeds, but it takes. Oh. Okay, Mimosa? Look at her using all the strategy, actively thinking while fighting. Oh my. Solar beam, let's do it. Oh, I love Mimosa. She used the broken off limb as like a earth grenade. <laughs> Very primitive. I could see why he'd say that. Baka. I know, he's just talking shit now. That's what I'm saying, this man is a literal muscly monster. Oh, that's Magna. Running with his flaming feet. My man is Bolton. I know, my man got them fire feet. I didn't even know he had any reinforcement magic. That's a throwback. What was that, like episode five, four? Wait, what happened? Annihilation Massacre Fireball. Oh. Especially with, that's his specializing magic is being able to throw like fireballs like that. That's a great addition to it. Ooh, are we getting a Kirsch backstory? Oh, I feel bad. A little girl trying to get some food. Is that soul? Yeah. Oh. Four years ago? The greatest city in the common Hikairo. Is this Seoul? Four years ago? We're gonna get a curse backstory and a little soul backstory. That I, I truly believe. She seems like a legend. Uh, so she's been dealing with that kind of misogynistic-ness for a long time. Alright. 
the old pops leaving, heading out to do some work. In the meantime, getting people out of here, saving people, evacuate as much as we can. She doesn't even have a grimoire. One of the boys who was trying to escape. Little mouse hiding. Oh, he was hiding, but I thought he was going to use that broom to run away. But I forgot. They're not like super magically inclined. They were talking. Yeah, they were talking about you needing protection. Let's, oh, wow. Wowzers. Makes a lot of sense why she doesn't need a man. Why she's very independent, you know? And then Charlotte comes to save her, and everything is starting to click. No wonder she is a true goddess. Ugh. Doing the wrong one. Shouts out, Charlotte. True. I'm always a fan in anime when someone re-gets motivation or gets re-inspired because of someone else's actions and, and her heroism, you know? That she did. She's very brave. Very courageous. That would always go. Yep. You always get hit with the realization how weak you truly are. That's sweet. I like that. Charlotte has been a legend since I've known her. She's so cool. Especially now knowing already what she's gone through. That's cool. Specifically for the uh, get stronger, come see me during you know the exam, the selection, whatever. I got you. But especially knowing what Charlotte already went through, it makes this even so much cooler that she's goes so much out of her way to help whoever she can. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. Not anymore, though. Once you get a good tangible goal with a good motivational leader like that, there's no stopping you. No wonder Soul is as strong as she is now, you know? He's gotten so much stronger. That's why she calls her sis, because she never knew her name from the jumps. She can't call her Doncho, can't call her Captain. That's dope. I love that story. Meanwhile, back to how are we going to do this? <laughs> Bro, the crystal's just going to get destroyed, Asta. Asta's definitely a trial by fire kind of learner. You give him like 10 tries, he'll learn. He'll start adapting, getting a lot better. <laughs> they always have such a respect for each other, too. I love it. Yeah. Remember how much motivation he got from him from the beginning? Cur I didn't even realize Kirsch is back in the fight. And that spell we just set up. But that's the reflective trap. Awesome. Good, good, good. Your phony imitation spell. Oh, but he has the disappearing act too because it's your spell, Magna. Oh my god, that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> he has to admit his own smell is dope. <laughs> That's good right there. I will not underestimate you. That's kind of a compliment in and of itself. He doesn't care about beauty. Oh! The Zerk's trap? <laughs> you thought you were knocked out before. <laughs> Oh, that's true. Mimosa with the seeds, right? Takes a little bit to kick in. Oh man, I love this squad. This squad is so dope. Shout out Mimosa. I love her. He rip out his own crystal in front of him. Go ahead, Asta. Break that shit right now. Easy. That was such a good match. 
Oh, give him advice too. Please make him better. I love when someone beats you in anime and then they give you advice afterwards on how to do better. That's true. That is definitely a magna weakness for sure. <laughs> then, give him that advice. Hundred <laughs> percent. And Mimosa has been that way since she was a child. Very observant, very empathetic. That is true. Did acknowledge Asa's strength. Look at Mimosa out here with the bars. <laughs> All right, Kirsch's having a little character development. I like that's what I like to see. I like it. Oh my god, let's go! <laughs> I need these episodes so bad. Oh lordy, lordy, McLorderton. For a part two of the last match, for a part two of this current fight, this was fantastic, a, a fantastic ending, fantastic re, not introduction, but when Kirsch came back and actually did acknowledge Asta and say, I'm not going to underestimate you again, and then, you know, obviously still got caught out, but I, I do like that little mini character development. I do also like the mini little backstory, not, it was very mini on him, but I, I like the backstory we got on Soul, how she's always been this sort of very protective, very confident person but who definitely lost trust in her friends and, and fellow men because of uh, what happened with that, which is understandable, I could say. And then especially in that same instance to be to see what Charlotte can do and how motivational, how inspirational she can be. Oh, I mean, I would follow Charlotte too. I, you know, heck yeah, I, I, I completely understand it. Um, all I'm saying was it was a great fight. I love Magna's new spells. He definitely has been evolving. We haven't seen those at all. He has a reinforcement spell, which makes him flamey fast. You know, that's awesome. And then he has the same awesome, like, fireball technique that he has. But now it's very hard to read and will definitely uh, disappear. Oh, it's, it's, it's great, especially for what he said. I'm not one of those nobles who has just an excess of magic power, so I can't just go all out on you. So I need to be able to use what little I have to my advantage and just play strategically, which he did. But Asa is just next level, you know, strong, you know, and he acknowledged that too. Asa is gangster. But Asta, Zerks, I want to know more. I need a, a more of a Zerks backstory. I know it's not Zerks. I, I'm assuming it's Zora because we heard Zora, but I'm not going to call him that until we know for, for without an utmost certainty. So I'm still going to call him Zerks for the time being. I'm very excited. I cannot, I need to see this Langris Finral fight. That's going to be so needed. I absolutely think Finral is going to win. I'm, I maybe Langris won, but I'm praying Finral will win. Oh, it would be so dope. Cannot wait for this next episode. I'm about to watch it right now. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out Patreon if you guys want early access. Don't want to wait. We are four episodes ahead. Other than that, follow the social medias. Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. Dapper Darius. I will see you guys later. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Peace out, Dapper Squad.